what I want to do now is set up the basic script that's going to one pull in the data from the Facebook JSON feed and uh, then iterate through it. I'm not going to do any of the data templating yet but I'm just setting the stage for all that to happen. Uh, first order business is to create a basic bare bones HTML document and I gave it a title but I've also included the script to the latest jQuery in there and I just got it straight from jQuery.com since it's being hosted. Uh, next order business is actually let's start by putting in our script tag and we'll get ready to start scripting over here. Okay, uh, since we're using jQuery, let's start with the document.ready functions because this way it, we're just getting ready for um, whoops, we're just getting ready for things to start happening. Uh, basically this line of code is saying hey when um, when once the document loads then you could execute the script until then just hang out okay next thing get JSON that's what we have to do to actually get our data so uh, we're gonna need the get JSON function alright and now we need to grab that URL that we're searching from Facebook and I'm gonna be searching just for zombies so graph.facebook.com forward slash search question mark Q equals and then your query so that's what I'm gonna enter uh, I need to put this in quotes of course so I'm gonna single quote it out and now I need to add a um, a callback function now a callback function in Gage JSON means once we grab this data what are we gonna do so I am gonna just create a function with a parameter that I'm gonna name FB results and this parameter is actually the data set that I'm getting from this URL so this is just saying hey we're gonna do this next thing we're gonna do on the data set okay very good so here we go and let me make sure I got no errors perfect so now inside of this call over here I need my iterator because if we look back at it we see that at uh, the actual data source that we're getting we're gonna have certain objects uh, or properties of those objects happen in multiple times so we need to iterate through those guys so I'm gonna do that with um, each now here we go each now each what now the parameter that I first called at get JSON was FB results so I'm gonna start with FB results okay now I need a property of FB results now let's look at this data set essentially what I'm saying is this entire page that I already have loaded in my browser I named it inside of my script so let's just say that this whole thing now represents an element that I call FB results now in order for me to access the specific values inside here I have to start getting specific by doing you know by using that dot property thing so everything lives inside of this data element so that means that it's gonna be FB results is my first JavaScript object that's exactly what it is technically and uh, the property of this object is data so now we're actually inside of all this data goodness in here okay so what are we gonna do now well from here since we're already inside I'm gonna declare a function that doesn't need a parameter because it's gonna do start doing the iteration already and then I'll open up the curly braces and I'll close them now uh, there we go make sure I have no errors once I if I see red I'm not happy let's see FB results there we go forgot my good old comma so now I am ready to roll uh, everything that's gonna go inside over here at this point is just gonna be the data templating section so um, this sets the stage for everything to come really what's gonna be the hard work of the project